Well, Skip, he's just not the guy that can do it game in and game out alone anymore. For the longest time, we've seen Aaron Rodgers not have a bonded running game and still be able to make routine throws. The throw that he missed last night to Sammy Watkins, the throw that he overshot Alan Lazard, Aaron Rodgers makes those throws in his sleep. And now he's missing throws that he always makes. And like I said, he's just not a guy. And, and that's what happens as we get older. We need more help to do things that we routinely did on our own. We see Tom Brady. Tom Brady doesn't have a running game, but he, and, and as you see, he struggled. The best he looked was Sunday against Seattle because he had the running game. Now the play action is in effect. You see the other team had a running game, barely, but they ran the ball enough. And you see Aaron, uh, uh, Ryan Tannehill look like Patrick Mahomes. Like, I was like, well, damn, mm. where did Ryan Tannehill be in? Mm. But Skip, he, he's still Aaron Rodgers. He just can't do it alone anymore. He needs help. He needs more help than we're customarily seeing the Aaron Rodgers need. He's still a four-time MVP. He's still a guy that can make freaky throws off his back foot, change uh, uh, arm slots, and make throws. You're like, damn, how did he do that? Mm. But the days of him not having Aaron Jones and A.J. Dillon run the football effectively and him saying, okay, guys, get on my back. I got you. Mm. Defense, I know you're struggling today, but guess what? Give me one stop, and I'll do the rest on my own. He's not that guy anymore. And I think as we start to get older, we're going to see that more. Um, but... Skip, he's still... A, he, now, you still you saw what he did against Dallas. Had a running game, and what? He picked them apart. Mm. No running game. Now teams like, oh, man, you ain't got no running game. We, now we can get a, a drop in the zone, mm. and we can play certain coverages against you and get you off your key. Yep. Nah. But, Skip, he still, look, he's still, what, 16 consecutive games? He hadn't reached 300 yards. 20 points in six of the games they played. 20 points or fewer in six of the games they uh, uh, played last mm -hmm. night, uh, uh, this year. Mm. Three, uh, under three yards of carry. Yep. If you're not going to win, there are not very many quarterbacks that can consistently win ball games when they're not averaging at least four yards of carry. At least give me four. I'm not saying we need to be 5'10 mm -hmm. like uh, the old Oklahoma Sooners when they ran the Rich Bowl skill, but what am I going to do with 2.9? Yeah. So he's still Aaron Rodgers. Mm -hmm. He just, he's just not a guy that can consistently do it alone. We've seen him. Yeah, we've seen him not have running games before, and then he make pull throws out his back pockets. Defense gets him one stop, and then he goes back down the field. But Skip in the fourth quarter, he had two punts, two fell fourth down attempts, and I think those overthrows they really because they could have kept him on the field. And now we can make it a ball game because when he overshot Sammy Watkins again, overshot Sammy Watkins, I'm like, damn, Aaron, that's 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 his throw to slide up in the pocket. And hit Sammy Watkins on a crossing route. Have uh, uh, the same thing. Have Alan Lazard. So yeah. Skip, I just believe he's the same guy. He just needs more help. He's not a guy that can consistently game in and game out win you games when he doesn't have that help. <sighs> Shannon Sharp. Yes. I am here to officially announce that Aaron Rodgers is washed. Man, get as out of here. As in washed up. <laughs> as in defunct. As in. After the game, I have never seen him so humble, as in humbled, yeah. as in resigned to his fate. Oh, no play He knows what just happened. Yeah. It just ended right before his very eyes. And for once, he was saying, I, I just couldn't make the throws. I don't know why, I just couldn't make them. He said after the Dallas game on Sunday evening, I felt like I threw the ball just about exactly where I wanted to yes. against the Dallas Cowboys. Correct. So, Mr. Sharp. Yes. As you well know, I see the NFL world through the metallic blue prism mm -hmm. of the Dallas Cowboys. Right. So, last night, I was actually rooting for Aaron Bleep and Rodgers to, to validate what he did against my Cowboys <laughs> and, and make it a trend instead of that blip right. because he is a notorious cowboy killer. Mm -hmm. So is his running mate, the I think the more valuable Aaron to me, Aaron Jones. They are notorious cowboy killers. But I wanted them to go on and do it to Tennessee on a Thursday night, just four days later, albeit at home, right. at home. Mm -hmm. Just go take care of business and be back on track. And then I could heave a little sigh and say, well, you know what? It wasn't so bad no. because they're going to do it to everybody. No. They might just win out. No. Nope. I, I don't know if they're going to win another game because yeah. now they're heading to Philadelphia. Right. Right? And that could just end it once and for right. all. And I think the thing is that makes you feel worse about your Cowboys considering how they looked last night, considering how they looked against your team. Thank you. <laughs> what did I have to watch last night right out of the box? 
what shell shocked me, what dumbfounded me, what knocked me off my chair in my little man cave. I had to watch Ryan Bleep and Tannehill take the opening kickoff <laughs> 83 yards in eight plays and just go right down and score. And it's seven to nothing Tennessee. And Mr. Sharp, remind me, let's see. Oh, my guy, Dak Prescott, had the ball four times in overtime. I mean, sorry, in fourth four quarter in overtime. overtime. Four times and scored zero. zero. And I saw Ryan Tannehill go, boom, seven, right? And I'm saying, well, wait a second. I, I did say going into the Packer game, the Packer Cowboy game, right. well, they had lost Rashawn Gary, their best pass rusher, and they lost Devondre Campbell, mm -hmm. their best linebacker, and they lost their starting corner and Eric Stokes. So, again, I thought that would happen regularly when my Cowboys played at Lambeau. Right. And I had to watch Ryan Tannehill do what, what we should have done just regularly, just throughout the game. <laughs> we should have scored 40. And he went down and immediately scored seven. And I said, wait a second, what's going on here? And then I had to look at the overall totals of this game and what what script got flipped against my Cowboys? What, what did they do? Aaron what? only threw it 20 times. Yeah. He completed 14. Six in the first half. Six in the first half. But they ran it 39 times yes. in his 20. Uh, guess what? Upside down. Upside down last night because <laughs> timeout. Oh, wait a second. He threw it 39 times, and they only ran it 19. 19. It was almost an exact reversal, yep. except it was only 19 rushes, right? And yep. to, to the 20 throws against my Dallas Cowboys. And I had to watch Aaron Bleep and Jones run it down our throats because he, he ran 24 times for 138 yards. Uh, last night, he tried 12 times, and he got 40 yards. And to your point, they had 56 total for a grand total average of 2.9. Well, you can't win that no, way, no. okay? But they ran it down our throats right. to the tune of 207 yards. Well, you might could win like that, Skip, with a 2.9 if Aaron Rodgers had Ryan Tannehill stats. That he goes correct. 22 or 27 for three plus Thank and the you. touchdowns. Thank but you. But when you, when you what, what was he, 24 or 39? Nah. Mm. Mm -mm. Okay, then I had to watch my guy, Dak Prescott, have a QBR at Lambeau of 42 in this scale of 0 to 100. It's below average. Right. You, it's, it's hard to win that way, especially when Aaron's got a hot hand. Right. Last night, Ryan Tannehill had a 78. So he had a 78 to my guy's 42. Well, guess what? He gave them chance after right. chance to win the game, and they finally did. Well, I don't know what he got to do to get an uh, 82. <laughs> I mean, 22 or 27 skip. He was damn near perfect. And no, the no. play that got picked, that was a great read by the it safety was. because they play fake his side. He sees there's nothing coming, yep. and he shoots straight back Okay, and robs the crosser. I got it. So I had to watch Aaron Bleep and Rodgers last Sunday mm -hmm. in the fourth quarter in overtime. Yes. Complete seven of nine throws for 102 yards. And to all your previous points, last night, Aaron was only 8 of 16 in the fourth quarter alone, 8 of 16 right. for a grand total of 60 yards. 60 yards scored no points in the right. fourth quarter, mm -hmm. and he scored obviously 17 two, in, four, yeah, in 17, the fourth and overtime. The, yes. Okay, so now to your previous points. Could we see, just so I can rub it in on my own self here, <laughs> can we see this is 9.29 left in the fourth quarter last night. This is third and 12 at Green Bay's 32 to Sammy Watkins. Throw he makes in his sleep, said the Hall of Famer Shannon Sharp. And I'm like, what? I'm, he is running free, man. Yeah. He is just like, please throw me the football. We got this, Aaron. I, I don't know. And Aaron said, I don't know. what It was coming out of my hand wrong. He said, I kept throwing wobblers. Well, yeah. I, I don't know what happened. Usually, he gets hottest when it's coldest. Yes. Am I right? Yes. And yes. last night, it was snowing early in the right. game, but it was really right. cold. It was definitely his type of game. Okay, it was his type of game. So next up, we got 532 left, and we got a third and three. Let's do third and three at the Tennessee 37. This is third and three to Lazard. Third and three. He's got plenty of time to throw. And it's just an airmail shot. Yeah. Like, what? That's your best receiver. And he looks like he's running pretty free to me. Yeah. He looks like he's pretty oh, yeah. wide well, he open, go, right? Well, he's going to get the first down for I, sure. I, I, I think so, which leads to fourth and three. And here we go again, if we can see. Next play. Up for... Lazard and it's it, wait, what he should have skipped. Aaron, if we run this back, he should, he should take Aaron Jones on the under route. Okay, it looked like look, it's look at Aaron hit. Jones. Look at Aaron yeah. Jones. Give it Aaron right. Jones. Hit him. But after a while, Aaron starts to second guess. He gets a little happy footed. Yeah. He feels like I'm cold on a cold night, which right. is highly unusual. And I'm saying I I don't know what happened. 
And then let's go to the final series, shall we? It's second down of their final series. This is with 324 left. And here's Aaron, second guessing, third guessing, fourth guessing. I don't know what to do. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But you can't take I'm a fact. Sure. You can't you take, can't a, take sack. a fact. You got to throw that away. <sighs> I mean, shoot it over one of you guys here. Can't if you want it. to. Can't do it. I got some this time. Ball. I got time. Just throw it away. Ugh. You can't take that sack, Skip. Oh, man. Skip, that's a rookie sack. That's that's a guy. That's a, uh, that's uh, like uh, Justin Fields in the preseason. Yeah, sack, you, right? you can't, Skip, you can't take that. And Aaron knows that. Oh, man. So that leads to a fourth down call. And it just sort of came and went, but they handed it to my little man, Aaron Jones. And it just, you want to talk about going nowhere if we can see the fourth down yeah. play. This is the ball game right here, you know, and it just happens and then it didn't happen. And everybody kind of looks around like, what just happened? Well, you know something's wrong when you see, look how many Green Bay linemen are standing around and look how many Tennessee Titans guys are on the ground right there, Skip. Look at this. <laughs> so, so who you think won that and, battle? And, and the Green Bay guys <laughs> are jumping up like, we got this. Yes! Some, some guys are going first down. It's not even close. Even Aaron Jones jumped up saying first down, down, bro. You're not even close. I mean, it like a yard. It looked like he lost that. It was like, you're an opportunity. You need to get to Milwaukee. Thanks for watching, Undisputed fans. Subscribe here to get the very latest from Skip and Shannon. Plus, go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.